guys we are crafting in the rain holy smokes I'm trying to get back out here to get our mold on and I'm like I think I can do it before it rains and uh, it's starting to come down so we're gonna do some crafting in the rain real quick and get our mold in place so these are still bendable and pliable Let me get my paint ready and we will paint. Okay, so I've got my paint, a brush. Now what I'm going to do is paint these the same color as the pots. Once you get these on, if you feel you need more glue, if I have more glue, I mean, you could just kind of trace out around the edges, paint right over that glue. I'd let that dry and then this is the point where I could take a fine polishing pad and go over over these um, pots get any sort of like brush hairs like this that's stuck on they'll just fall off at the point where everything is dry Maybe I'll hit a little more on this little dish here okay we'll let that dry and then we can get to the next step so a few things have happened since you guys have last seen me. Number one, Matt made a most delicious breakfast. So we sat outside and ate it together. Um, we made a run because I needed a trowel. And in getting myself to the plant, se plant section, I also got some plant food I found over there. And look at this, guys. I found this really cool glass um, flower mister. I love it because it is a rainy day. It's still raining. I'm going to set this out, wash it out, just set it out and just collect some rainwater because um, I do know that plants do not like tap water. It has chlorine and you know things like that into it. So we're gonna go collect some water today, which will be nice. And while I was there in the plant section, I saw some plants that were crying like, take me home, Sonia, please. I wanna be part of your plant collection. So um, you'll see them in just a second. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna decorate these planters. We're going to seal them. And I got my box or my basket, I should say, of uh, waxes here. And I think I'm, I'm going to try something. Here you go. I already have them taken out. So I think I'm going to go over these with Amethyst Magic, which is a really, really deep purple. Do you see that? And it's like a fuchsia kind of purple. And I feel like going over this with this would really intensify the purple that we got going on, which I think would make it absolutely beautiful. I also picked out some rusty brown, which is a way to kind of antique and, um, you know, create just an aged, yeah, antique old look. So I think I'm going to probably, you're going to see me here in just a second, use the amethyst. I'm going to use the rusty brown to probably antique these pieces right here that I applied myself. And then I'm also pulling out my favorite, which is the aged brass. 
So I think I'm gonna make use of these three right here. further if you don't want to. Some people just love the look of that rustic, ultra flat look that you get just by sanding and doing this. Totally up to you. I'm going to go in first with the rusty brown. Now there's still some brown on this uh, brush, but I'm just gonna make it work. Well, friends, I just got off my live hanging out over there and I think our pots are done. I'm gonna stand back and look at them front on, but I'm really liking where they are right now. So I think I just have to let them set up and dry and then I will add my new plants, my brand new plants into them. So I got plant food. I mean, I think I got everything that um, these plants are gonna need but I gotta let that set up a little bit. So let me show you the plants I got. So I got this one, which not sure, let's see what it says. Purple waffle. <laughs> I like waffles, so I think I'm gonna really like this one. Love it, purple, purple waffle. Look at the purple in the bottom and the green. Oh my gosh, I don't know if it flowers or not. Kind of reminds me of an African violet, but um, I'm gonna have to keep my eyes open for another one of the African violets. All right, and then we have this guy right here. Okay, true story. So this one says it's Compacta, Compacta from Brazil. He enjoys medium light. Well, hello to you too. So this guy here was the only one left and I felt kind of bad because he's got a tear in his leaf right there and it, he's like missing part of it. Like somebody took a whole bite out of his leaf right there. Um, but I was like, oh, I know you're gonna get overlooked. I'm gonna take you home <laughs> and I am going to care for you. You should be happy. Yes, don't be scared. I'm gonna care for you. So um, I'll let you know how it goes, but I think it's gonna be okay, guys. Those of you who are uh, plant raisers, tell me. Um, this will be okay, right? I think it's gonna be okay. I'm not sure what happened to him, but he just needs some extra love. So he's gonna get some care. And then, and then the last one I got was this guy right here. He had all this stuff over his, his leaves. I'm not sure if that's something they spray him with, but I'm just letting him enjoy the sunshine and the rain out here. And uh, you know, these were inside a store, so now they're back out in natural light. So I'm just letting them soak it all up. Quite literally the rain. I don't know if it has 
somebody just told me on the live when I showed them this, it was called, actually that is right, they were right, it's like Pothos or something like that. Uh, let me see here, one of you guys said the other night, I had no clue that I actually got, got the one that you told me. So, Golden Pothos. All right, so I'm going to replant these and uh, yeah, I'm gonna live with them. Okay, friends, I'd like you to meet my plant family. Look at this. I gave I gave this one the big pot because I really felt like this pot over here would have been too small for it. Like this one has lots of room to grow. That's the ivy that I got from the backyard. This one, which I gotta learn all the names. You guys told me already what that was. And these two beauties right here. So I'm just gonna let them relax out here in the sunshine and get used to their new homes. But I'm really happy with how they turned out. Now I gotta take care of them. And uh, I think I have everything I need to do that. So please leave me your best gardening tips below for if you have these particular plants, like how you tend to them. Um, I gotta do some more research so that way I make sure that they thrive and survive. They are gonna go and live on my kitchen windowsill. And um, it's lots of sun there, warmth there. So I'll be giving them a little shower. Oh, I'll just be using this myself because this is fun. The mister. All right, friends, I am off and uh, I'll see you back on here again tomorrow. But I hope it gives you ideas to, uh, you know, paint, decorate, get your hands into something that you love and take the time to do it. Sit outside and enjoy the beautiful vitamin D. Take care. See you tomorrow. Bye.